Well, a woman from Hewitt is among several from across the state who testified today during a discussion on House Bill 63. It's a bipartisan effort which, if passed, would reduce the penalty for possessing less than an ounce of marijuana to a civil offense. Curtis Quillen spoke with the bill's author and the woman about her testimony. He's at the Capitol tonight with more. Curtis. Well, Leslie, it was in this room right behind me where the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee heard testimony both for and against HB 63. Among those testifying was Karen Reeves, a Hewitt woman who is one of the most vocal marijuana reform advocates in the state of Texas. And while she says this isn't the ultimate goal they're working for, it would be a step in that direction. The chair lays out House Bill 63 and recognizes Representative Joe Moody to lay out the bill. Monday night, a simple hearing of the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee in Austin became a marathon thanks to House Bill 63. And I'm back for the third time because I still strongly believe that this is good legislation that needs to pass. HB 63, introduced to this legislative session by Democratic Representative Joe Moody from El Paso, would eliminate jailing for possession of less than an ounce of marijuana in Texas, making it a civil offense. Karen Reeves with Centex Community Outreach in Hewitt was one of several people who flocked to the Capitol grounds to testify. Well, this bill is a great bill to support because it would actually take the criminal penalty down to a civil penalty to where you could pay a fine, and we have, like, bipartisan support. Of the five listed sponsors of the bill, three are Republicans. Having Republicans on this bill is nothing new, but having Republicans seek me out saying, I want to sign on to your bill, I would like to help you on your bill, that is new. For Reeves, the testimony was largely about her son Alex's story. She says Alex was arrested for being, quote, in the wrong place at the wrong time while on leave from the Marines and that it's affected his ability to get work and move out on his own. Currently, he's not able to pass a background check. He's not able to move forward in his life. And, and uh, people that get arrested for minor possession become stagnant in life. The bill has its critics, though. Monday night, they were largely law enforcement, with several departments speaking out against the bill for fear that it legally the drug. Among those, Grand Prairie, whose assistant chief Ronnie Morris says has heard warnings from other departments in other states to avoid legalizing marijuana in Texas. We believe that the law as it is today is is working. Uh, the officers are given the discretion that they need to take enforcement action as they see fit on the street. It's working. Uh, we're not needlessly putting people through the criminal justice system. But in response, Moody reiterated that possession in the state of Texas would remain illegal, as HB 63 would strictly address punishment. This is an important issue. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat. These laws impact people across the board. We did reach out to multiple representatives from Central Texas who either were not available or never got back to us to discuss the bill. As far as the bill itself, the committee did leave it as pending. At the Capitol in Austin, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Curtis.